Richie on sensitive kind of out of context for the live but what are your favorite books that you that make you think about educating yourself and improving one's mindset in your opinion favorite books uh, what really got me uh, to ask questions and to uh, make sure I was educating myself is just life experience I smelled bull BS coming a mile away from centralized power it was insane right uh, just our education system was one of them right our economic system was one of them I can tell you one of the first one of the first places I realized that this whole economic system that they were pushing two places really that was just pure scam where they were dangling a carrot in front of people saying chase the carrot take your money put it in an RSP, give it to the wall street do, 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 do this do this and you can retire in peace right one place was in the 1980s when i was going to vegas and i was i wasn't even 21 like first time i went to vegas to gam i was able to gamble myself because back then facial hair went a long way right i went to vegas by myself when i was like 17 or 18 i think 18 years old i think might have been 17 after graduating high school went to la with family and then told family i'm gonna go to vegas and they went well okay go and i went to vegas for a couple of nights myself right and i was a low time gambler i'm mean, 18 years old 17 18 years old i don't have that much money right but i was able to go to a hotel right get a room by myself and gamble by myself right i never got asked for id and one thing that really clicked it for me i was on, on the craps table it was like three o'clock in the morning it was me and a high time roller okay with a shooter at the craps table and i was betting five dollars at a time right and this guy was betting stacks of hundreds and five hundreds or thousands pinks blacks and pinks yeah not, not too big pinks but pinks but mainly stacks of black blacks or hundreds hundred dollar chips right he was stacking them up he had five thousand ten thousand up on the table right they lifted the limit for him i think right me meanwhile i come along with five dollars right and he's such a he's a high time roller and a lot of high time rollers don't like rolling themselves he brought a shooter with them usually the shooter is a street person or something like this he gives them a little bit of money the shooters putting five dollars betting the same best that the shoe that the that the high time rollers betting right and they're nervous right and i was rolling and i was rolling and this guy was putting money on big six and eight and i was playing the come on rolls and stuff like this and i wasn't getting six and eight i was getting four five nine and ten right so i was getting, making good money and then i would get a seven out and he would lose his money after uh, doing this a few times i turned to the because craps table has um three people working the craps table the main guy in the middle and two guys at the end of both sides are going and you got the pit boss going around right and I turned to the guy beside me, the guy working the table on my side, and I said, man, I feel bad. And this was an older guy, man, right? At the time, he would have been like probably my age or more, right? Remember, I was like 18 years old. And the guy looks at me. He was looking straight, right? And he looks at me this way, and he goes, why? I go, well, I'm betting $5, $10 a time. The guy's losing thousands. He goes, does he pay your rent? I looked at him and went, uh, no. And then he just stopped there and he looked forward. Right. And I went, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't pay my rent. F him, kept on rolling, right? I kept on winning, the guy kept on losing. That's when I realized that money means shit, right? There are people out there, eye rollers, very, at that time, way less high lower rollers than there are now that they're the it's it's all relative right that someone can go from five dollars to that if they make the right moves right 
Because a lot, a lot of people aren't born with it, right? Some are old money, right? But all of a sudden it came relativistic that money really doesn't have any value, right? It's not like I was betting one life and this person was betting thousands of lives where lives matter. This was just fiat currency. That stuck with me, right? And then a few years later, right? A few years later, uh, was a university and I was collecting comic books and I was going to shows and buying and selling comic books and stuff like this and one show I went to because at the time I was buying Valiant comics right so you know I was a poor student had student loans I, sometimes I needed to get emergency loan to feed myself while I was a university right I lived in an apartment was called cockroach towers right I, I slept in a on a tile floor with some sheets like cushion and a sleeping bag for two years in a one bedroom apartment with three of us right but i started got into comic book collecting and selling and stuff like this and i went to one show i was in waterloo ontario i went to one show in ontario in toronto right and i had a lot of valiant comics and the price had spiked and i figured it was time to dump a lot of this right so i put they would make a banner for you, the comic book convention, and they said, what do you want as your banner, like your company, your name? I said, put Valiance, Valiance, Valiance. And they went, what? I said, put Valiance, 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 because I want people to know I'm selling Valiance. And a lot of dealers didn't have it. They didn't have it, right? Because they weren't buying Valiance, right? The orders were really low. And at that convention, I went there for two days, right? I sold about the table cost me i don't know what it cost me at the time like 80 bucks or let's say 100 bucks i sold about two to three four hundred dollars worth of comic books that i paid out of pocket and i made okay five thousand dollars cash in my pocket plus i had traded people for other comic books some of the old school com ec comics i have I traded Valiant comics with someone for some old EC comics that are worth like hundreds of dollars now, right? Some maybe a thousand or more, right? So with $500 investment, I was able to flip that in a matter of like six months because these Valiant comics didn't go up or a year, right? I took $500 and rolled it over into like 6,000 over two days, right? that really clicked it in for me right so it wasn't a book that i read to make me realize that i had to educate myself it was life experience because i wasn't afraid to do things that i might lose money or i might not know how to do something and i had to spend the time to learn it right that would be my recommendation okay that would be my recommendation